Good afternoon. I was looking for Bear today and I found Bear with the life cycle of the butterfly. Bear and I have seen so many butterflies in the garden this morning. We've seen a peacock butterfly, a red admiral, lots of cabbage whites, orange tip butterflies and a gatekeeper. And Bear thought it would be interesting to see how the butterfly develops. So here we have a butterfly. This one isn't a real one, but it is. If it was real, this would be a swallowtail butterfly. And the butterfly lays its eggs on a leaf. Now, butterfly's eggs are tiny. If you imagined getting a very sharp pencil and making a point on a piece of paper with your pencil, that is the size of the butterfly's eggs, like a little pinprick. So because the eggs are so small and so tiny, the butterfly needs to protect the eggs. So I wonder if you can tell me, do they lay their eggs on the top of the leaf? or do they lay their eggs beneath the leaf? Yes, the butterfly actually lays its eggs beneath the leaf, underneath the leaf, so that the eggs are protected. The rain won't wash them off and other birds and animals and insects won't eat them. Because remember how tiny they are and out of the eggs hatch a caterpillar. This little caterpillar isn't a particularly colorful caterpillar, is it? When the caterpillar comes out, it's very, very hungry. So it eats and eats and eats on green leaves until its skin gets so big and so tight that it bursts and out it merges a caterpillar in a new skin which is a lot more colourful. And then the caterpillar makes a cocoon and it stays in the cocoon for about three weeks before emerging as a butterfly. Now, when it comes out, its wings are very wet and crumpled. So it lies in the sunshine until the wings have dried and then it will be able to fly like a beautiful butterfly. So thank you Bear for sharing the life cycle of the butterfly with us today. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.